Hello, confusing name tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Shining Force CD with me, Blue Inkulo. With all the viewers who have names that I can't pronounce or remember. Or, actually, what I'm really referring to is all the characters in this game that have names taken from Shining Force 1 and 2, stolen by lazy translators. Anyway, we're still chasing after the Sword of Haya that was stolen by some villains of Yom, and we even let one of their villains, the Ranger um, Graham, join our army for reasons unknown. But now we're in the kingdom of, uh, Emerald, em Emerald, Kingdom of Bam. And, uh, we're gonna go talk to the king to get the sword back. Easy peasy. Uh, your highness, the people of Cyprus have arrived. That's the elf archer that we don't want to join that's going to. Have they come for the sword of Haya? Yes, sir. People of Cyprus, is this the sword of treasure you seek? King Emild, King, King Emeril, holds up the sword for everyone to see. Hey, that's the sword. Great! Yes! Thanks, your highness, that's what we need. There's no mistake. Very well, then. Come, reclaim it. Bam! A little spice in your life. Wait, on second thought, I think I'll keep it. Because I'm actually... Golden of Yom! Remember remember the early game? we Like, chapter one, we saw these bad guys sent by uh, the, the devils in Yom. This was one of the crazy guys. No, oh, no, he's not the king. Where's the real king? King Emild kept getting in the way, so I sacrificed him to Yom. <gasps> you murdered our king. You won't get away with it. Oh, but I already have. Anyone who opposes the mighty Yom will die. Oh, he's about to waddle this castle. Bam! I don't like this castle either. Take that castle. Destroyed. He used Earthquake. It was super effective. This will show you the power of Yom. I just, like, killed half his soldiers. <laughs> My work here is done. We'll not allow you to leave. Oh, but look, all your soldiers are already dead and replaced by monsters. <laughs> I'll leave you while my servants keep you busy. Take that. Oh, he just jumped down to a pit. <laughs> and he was never heard from again. He literally jumped into hell. Oh, the king was murdered. The castle's in ruins. Yom, you'll pay for this. Deanna, let me join the group. No. Chester? We already had a Chester. Chester's a centaur from... From Shiny Force 2, one of our childhood friends. Not a dumb elf archer. Let's get rid of these monsters and catch up with Gordon. Alright, so. Everyone say hello to Chester. Who might be the only character that's more benchable than Jaha. Um, same attack power. A little bit more defense. It's really nice when the level 7 archer joins with more defense than our warrior. Real good stats there, pothead. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, now we've got two archers. Yay! Uh, let's see, what else have we got on the map? It's a pretty small map, again. Not, again, Game Gear games, right? Fairly small maps, generally speaking. We got some some treasure over here. Wooden arrow, death archer. Let's have a quick look around, see if there's anything interesting. Dark mage. Might get blazed, might just get smacked with a stick. And a hell sniper. That'll be the next tier of Death Archer, I suppose. Yeah, 25 attack is a bit more than 18. 20 defense is actually quite a lot. This guy will be a little bit harder to kill. Save a little bit of magic for him. And uh, a couple more rat flies. They're not that tough. Honestly, most of the enemies haven't been very difficult so far. Okay, well, let's get a move on. Let's see. Uh, I think we take up... Uh, I'd like to get that choke point just north of Natasha there. And then sort of hold that choke point while we uh, kill the enemies to the left and right of the starting position. I uh, I think we probably can't move through those rocks. And then these rocks are like um, heavy terrain, 30%. You know what? If those guys want to attack Eric, oops, wrong button. That would be fine. I'll put him here. That might be enough to lure the Dark Dwarf to him. Or Hell Soldier. All right. Well, instead, it lured the master, the dark mage. Not quite a master mage yet. He's he's not that smart. 
He's dark. He's He can't see much because everything's dark. He's really more like blind mage. I, I really want to block this choke point. So let's get Deanne up here quick. And then everyone else can, you know, kill the mage and all, all the rest of the enemies. All right. Uh, again, I guess one perk of the uh, the relatively small maps is uh, the relatively low MP pool. We won't run out of as quickly as like in Shining Force One or Two, where the I think there was more enemies than larger maps, and having you know 12 MP was just not enough for for the length of the actual battle, at least early game, you know. All right, so these guys do a little bit of damage. Let's, uh, prepare to block up a little bit of the attack avenues here. I don't want Natasha getting beaten up on, basically. Alright, Graham, let's see. <laughs> let's see if the archer's worth it. The ranger. You know, 13 damage on a mage is fine. Good job, Graham. You get a, you get a good job. Alright, that archer's starting to move. Chester, all right. Archers are going to win the day. <laughs> Denied. Did I say bench fodder? Hmm. That's some, that's some bench warming archer I see. As always, the elf archers will let me down. <laughs> Every time. That's the fifth elf archer to let me down in a shiny force game. <laughs> All right, Eric gets one. Getting reduced XP at level nine for mages. That's, but at least he didn't get to do his, his uh, AOE blaze. No blaze two. Mm, but Natasha could get a blaze two. Um, is it worth it? Two enemies, I guess. You know, she's got 24 MP. She's already level nine. She doesn't directly need to get kills right now. This will help soften these guys up a lot for the rest of the team. Not very much experience, though. All right, I was hoping to block that health soldier in um, with somebody else. But uh, this should be okay. Okay, Slade's in position to start keeping uh, Deanna topped up because we've got three enemies attacking Deanna right now. Actually, the archer might be able to hit uh, Natasha the way I positioned her. It might not have been the best best idea. Yeah, if he moves over one to the left, he can attack her. Oh, well. All right, Dawn. Got to kill this Hell Soldier before we abandon the left side. All right. If Graham dies, we'll never see him again. All right, yeah. They typically focus down on your hero when possible, so... That's probably why Natasha is safe enough. The only time I've ever seen early early era Shining Force games um, not attack your hero is when they can like definitely kill somebody. I think I'd rather focus on the dwarf or the Hell Soldier to the right, and then just leave the choke point intact for now. Does anyone need healing badly? I guess Graham could use some. He'll be fine. The uh, the archers will be able to kill that Hell Soldier on the left. Let's just hold the line over here. Archer might be able to attack Graham, but he should survive one hit from the Archer. Someone else can finish off the, uh, the, the Health Soldier to the left. We should be fine. Hey, Graham, level 8. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. Well, it's two kind of poor to average level ups. All right, Chester finally hit something. He's 1 for 2. She keeps stats on how bad Chester is. I kind of thought the Death Archer would go for uh, our weakened Archer, but... I guess Graham is pretty low defense, and maybe the next... Maybe he was thinking that this guy would be able to um, attack uh, Luke as well. I, I don't know if the AI is smart enough to plan out, like, well, you know what I mean, like... Could have, could have attacked 
Graham to drop him to lower health, or attack Luke because somebody else would be able to attack him as well. That'd be pretty clever. Is there anyone Natasha could... Natasha could kill the Hell Soldier. I think that's worth it. Let's get this guy out of the way. We're not in a dire situation, but we're getting... We're, getting, we're a little surrounded here, so. These uh, nice new steel lances that we purchased at the end of last episode. Definitely making uh, Knight and Dawn... <laughs> Knight. Eric and Dawn, the Knights, do a substantial amount of damage. We will need someone to go pick up that chest on the bottom right. Don't let me forget. I'm not going to wait around to let someone else get this kill because... Don't think the Death Archers are worth it. Well, if someone at like level 7 had killed it, it would have been better, but this is fine. Alright, what's more important? Healing Deanna or healing Jaha? Probably Deanna for now. Level 7, HP 1, MP 2, Attack 2, Quick 1... Uh, quickness and defense one, and then he learned the Muddle spell. So, Muddle's pretty much useless. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if it works in Shining Force CD properly, but I believe it's supposed to reduce the enemy's accuracy, but generally it doesn't even work, so don't get your hopes up. Hey, 13 damage. That's pretty good. I get the feeling we're just shooting enemies that are in, like, open terrain. They don't get any defense bonuses. But still, Graham seems to be hitting relatively good. I guess with these choke points on this map, the archers do get a bit of an advantage compared to those open maps we had earlier. Because, um, you know, we have one tanky character holding the, the choke point, And then we can have the archers firing over them from behind. Which, yeah. It, it lets them look as good as they're ever going to look. Alright, we got 1 HP, 2 attack, 2 defense, and a quickness. A good level up for Jaha. Definitely the kind of level up he needed. Alright, let's focus on healing Jaha first, and then maybe Graham after. And then maybe Luke at some point. Doesn't matter. Everyone's doing fine. I like kind of how much HP uh, Luke has, actually. He's a very um, sturdy... Uh, a very sturdy healer. He doesn't have a lot of defense, but the HP pool is pretty valuable anyway on its own. Well, Chester's damaged to enemies now, at least, even if he's never killed anything. Alright, no range for Natasha, sadly. Does Eric have... Eric has the inventory spot, so I'm going to send him to get the treasure, I suppose. If anyone can catch up, it'll be one of the, the knights. We can also start moving around the right side as, as we uh, as we punch through the choke point now. We can start flanking a little bit. Hey, level 9, Deanna. 2 HP and MP, 2 attack, 2 defense. No quickness. Still, good level. 31 attack, pretty good. Alright, we got a couple people to heal up. Let's keep doing... Keep doing the thing. The, uh, the guide that I'm halfway following, in case you're wondering, it recommends you get everyone to level 11 on this map, which sounds like a lot of work. It's probably not worth it. Just in case you're interested. Uh, Luke. Let's see. Um, he does do a lot of a damage. He's not going to kill the Death Archer, but the Death Archer will move back. To attack... No, the Death Archer might hold still anyway to attack Deanna. I don't know. Chester would not have been able to attack the Archer anyway. Ah, that's annoying. So now I need Deanna to move so that, like, Natasha can kill. That's unfortunate. But it doesn't really matter who I put up front. Something like that would have happened. Even if it was Jaha, it would have been the same 
outcome, basically. Yeah, bad turn order today. We have a Protect Milk. I believe this is our second Protect Milk. Theoretically, we could get a whole... Oh, this is it. Flanking Attack! Unfortunately, you can see 7 damage less than a, than a Steel Lance. But Dawn with the Flank gets the kill. Power, the, power, the, the Normal Spear is strong enough. Alright, let's have Slade heal up Deanna again. I'm actually really impressed with this <laughs> this uh, flanking maneuver actually worked. I was, I was calling it a flanking maneuver as I was sending them to the rocks on the right. And I'm thinking, there's no way we're going to make it around in time to do anything. But <laughs> nope, worked out just fine. All right, the, the, the rat flies, they're coming for us. The fly rats. So I still haven't seen them deal any status afflictions like sleep or poison, but, you know, maybe we won't get any of that. So far, so good. Okay. All right, Jaha, get in there. Another flank attack. Surprise, rat fly. Yeah, good job, Chester. Very helpful. Ooh, do you see what I see? I'm starting to see a formation up here. A juicy formation. Oh, good! Graham's in the way. Good job. Ah. <laughs> Guess it's my own fault, but it's still frustrating. Probably should use the medical herb for 10 XP there, but... Alright, so how do we want to do this? Um... Let's hold the line with Dawn. Let's not move her, but let's use her better weapon. And try to get some of these enemies killed quick. It's too bad we couldn't get a nice blaze too off, but... I'm sure we'll manage. Oh, it's even juicier now. We could hit four enemies. I bet you the uh, Death Sniper is going to come down and hit Deanna next turn. But I kind of like our, our defensive line at the moment, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess it up. It's very hard for the enemies to gang up on anyone when you've got a nice horizontal or vertical line. Yeah, I'll take this kill. Luke! Disappointment. I think we'll let. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the left here, rather than the right. I figure it'll be easier for Chester to hit the one on the right, and maybe Natasha will still be able to pull off a spell next turn. So I didn't want to block off Natasha's spot this time. Because maybe the enemy will be dumb and stay in a nice, close formation. It does seem like the enemy doesn't like to move... It tends to attack someone adjacent rather than moving to attack someone further away. It's not like a a guaranteed kind of thing, but I have I have felt like this is pretty standard for Shining Force logic for, for enemy AI. Especially considering Game Gear games, maybe they didn't want to program it too complicated. Anyway, Chester got a kill, and I could have, if I'd just been a little bit more patient, I could have had a four-way blaze. Still, it's a pretty good spell for Natasha. 42 experience. Got a kill. Let's get another bat out of the way. I think I think we've pretty much got this map under control. Level 10 Dawn. HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. First character to level 10. Although Eric, he's close. Alright, Graham. Not gonna get this kill, but soften him up. Good damage, though. You know, Graham is hitting pretty hard. I can't complain about Graham. He's been doing good damage so far. Do 
to send Dien up. I kind of think this is a nice attack because the Hell Sniper just had his turn. So, you know, we'll get a full round of everyone else getting their move and everything before uh, the Hell Sniper will get a turn. Also, if we kill this guy, then there's nobody else but the Death Sniper. Or whatever. Hell Sniper, Death Archer, Sniper, Hell, Double Death, Hell Knight. I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the names of the enemies in these games is a little silly. I think the... Uh, I think the original Shining Force 1 and 2 had just general, better overall translations of enemy names and character names. Uh, the Shining Force CD ones, Book 1 and Book 2, have both been a little bit silly with some of the some stuff. Dawn needs some healing. Let's keep her back. She's already level 10, so she doesn't need anything here. How does Natasha do it? I would like to get her to level 10 if possible. Let's use the herb. Get Dawn topped up a little bit. Now, keeping in mind that this uh, boss unit does have quite a lot of defense. Oh, goes for the ledge. Ledge shot. You know, 8 damage is not even that much on Chester. Well, 16 is a bit more. If that had been a crit, probably could have killed Chester in one round. But you, you don't get double attacks and crits all that often. All right, Yaha, get in there, do some damage. Level nine, HP two, attack one, defense two. All right, his defense is starting to catch up. I am, I'm gonna move Deanna out of the way. I'm gonna try to let Natasha get to level 10 and anybody else close. If there's anyone else close, like, I, I like to spread the experience around, you know? Graham probably won't get this kill anyway. He's still a long way from a kill, but he can do some chip damage. Actually, that might've been like the only spot Natasha could attack from. So sure, we could give the kill to Chester, get him to level 8 or her to level 8, maybe. 29 attack versus 20 defense. That's 9 damage minus terrain effect, which is probably 15. Probably not a kill, but I'm not going to risk it. Eric could get to level 10, which would be nice. But like I often say, Natasha kind of gets priority. Now, this is only 8 to 10 damage. This is only 8 damage. She actually doesn't have a guaranteed kill here. Um, I think she's got greater than 50-50 odds of doing 9 damage, but we'll see. Got him. Alright, level 10, Natasha. HP 1, MP 2, attack 1, defense 1, quickness 1. No spells. Still, getting, getting that character, getting that leader mage promotion, or level up, whatever. That's good stuff. I could promote her now if I want. Gordon escaped through this tunnel. We can catch him if we can. Just jump down. This tunnel leads to Portobello. Forgive me, I've forgotten to introduce myself. I'm May, not the centaur archer May, but the royal sorceress May. When the castle started crumbling, I came to serve the king. I'm sorry to inform you, the king has been murdered, sacrificed to an evil devil. No, it can't be. The ones who are responsible, the one who's responsible is a man named Gordon, and also the devil y'all. He was pretending to be the king. He escaped through the tunnel. Now I know why the king was behaving so strangely. And you're following Gordon now? She's a fox lady, by the way. Or something. She's a fox monster. Yes, we must get the Sword of Haya back. To think that our kind and generous king was murdered. They'll pay for this. Please take me with you. Hey, you know what? Bringing along a sorceress, or at least a mage, is what I want. Now, if she was an actual sorceress, like a Shining Force 2 sorceress, that'd be awesome. But, probably just a mage. This tunnel is like a maze. Follow me. Just jumps down to the pit. <laughs> like, the little spiral as you fall down. It looks like they're, like... They're not... It's not a controlled jump. They're spiraling into their death. It's like the low creeds matching. Deanna, you're in charge while I go up and see what's up ahead. Who's there? 
<gasps> you followed me? That voice, Gordon. Don't look so surprised. You'll not escape us. We'll follow you until we get the sword back. So, you'll pursue me to the gates of Hades? Well, uh, that's Gordon over there. Looks like he's got a lot of agility. He went before a week ago. I guess we should probably end the episode before we go through another big chapter battle. There's that sort of Haya. Still haven't managed to get it. He's got some... He might be our first, like, proper boss battle here. He might actually get two turns per battle if he, if he goes first every turn, plus gets an extra attack. Uh, just a quick look at our new character. We've got May. May, the mage. She's got... She'll be the ice mage. So I'm expecting Natasha to be the blaze mage and May to be the freeze mage, like Anri and Tao before them. And also whatever the two were, Wendy and uh, somebody else from the book one. Pretty standard. It's not... It's not like... <laughs> the game doesn't have anything unique, right? They just use the same layout of... Uh, you know, you get, uh, you get a Ken. You get a May. Uh, May with an E. You get a... What was... It was Luke was the original warrior, and then Hans. I guess we got a centaur earlier on. Anyway, we do typically get the same early characters, so it's kind of interesting. Anyway, um, I like ice magic, so nothing wrong with that. And uh, I think the problem will be that we're not going to learn level 4 blaze or freeze until the end of the game, which is their biggest single target damage spell. So I think I talked about that before. In From what I understand, in the Game Gear games... Um, the level 3 spells of Blaze, Freeze, and Bolt were all much, much stronger than your traditional level 3 spells were in Shining Force 1 or 2. Uh, but for Shining Force CD, they reverted the spells to their original Shining Force 1 and 2 powers, but they didn't change the level you learned them at. So I think it was kind of an oversight on the, the remake process or the, the translation, whatever. Like the, the, the it's a remake, technically, from the Game Gear to the, the Shining Force CD. That I think they they nerfed the spell power, but then they kept the late learning of the level spells so that you don't you don't get them early enough for them to be very good. But anyway, I, I, I'm not 100% because I haven't played the Game Gear games very much, but I've heard that like Blaze 3 would be old school Blaze 4, and Blaze 4 would be like old school... Blaze 4 and Blaze 3 together. Area of effect and high damage. So that's why you would learn it at level 20. Because it was way more powerful than anything you'd normally see in a Shining Force game. But, so sad to say we don't get to see any of that. Anyway, we need to end the episode here. Uh, I don't think we need to aggress or anything. We'll be fine with our current party. Um, I might be getting a little bit low on medical herbs. Eh, not really. We got lots of medical herbs. We'll be fine. Next episode, we will chase after uh, Gordon and I'll have to add another slide for me. Looks like, what are we at? 3, 6, 9, 10, up to 10 characters. we got two more open slots and, and then we can finally bench somebody. Oh boy. <laughs> Can't wait. Anyway, thanks for watching folks. Hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time for more Shining Force.